spoken tonight with hundreds of people marching in Salinas honoring farm worker activist Cesar Chavez. This month marks 25 years since his passing. We get more from Action News reporter Bianca Beltran with our top story. Carrying the iconic Welga Bird flags, they took to the streets in the name of farm worker activist Cesar Chavez. Many have farm workers in their families or are descendants of immigrants and took their kids to the march to share their cultural history. When I was younger, I used to go and pick fruit with my, my parents and I would ex explain to them, well, this is how we did when we were young. We didn't have to go out there in the, the playground stuff. We were, had to go cut apricots, cut peaches, and just to give them a little bit of his history of this is your culture, where you come from. April marks 25 years since Cesar Chavez died. It's been almost 50 years since the lettuce boycott that landed the activist in the then Salinas jail. Adan Ramirez marched with Chavez and says he will continue to march for the United Farm Workers of America until his legs give out. We've dealt with issues like the heat and so that workers get an opportunity to get more breaks, paid breaks by the company and ensure they have sufficient drinking water. Many marchers are calling for immigration reform and an end to deportations. This last Monday in Delano, California, in the San Joaquin Valley, we had a memorial service for two individuals, Santos and Marcelina, who were two immigrant workers from Guerrero. They died in a car crash while fleeing immigration enforcement agents. We've got to stop the ice raids here in the rural communities here in California. Rodriguez says arrests across the state have struck fear in many immigrant families, but not today. Reporting in Salinas, Bianca Beltran, KSBW Action News 8.